percussion family and welcome to another episode of let's chop about it where i'm your host paul woods aka the drum prophet and this is just a space to where we put it on the drum and instead of talking about it we chop about it listen we're not going to delay anymore today's episode we have two very prestigious historical black college and universities we got benedict college in the building and we got elizabeth city state university listen we chop about it i ain't talking no more let's see what we got So let's dive right into this and start from the beginning. Very clean opening. Now this is different. And I and I think I'm digging this. I don't think I've ever seen a line HBCU wise with only three subsections, which is the snares, a tunnel bass line, and cymbals. So already I think it's smart. If you think about it, and when you watch the second half of this, the whole video of the tunnels is just running. So that's giving it that melodic feel right there. I like the opening solo because it's not aggressive, but we showing you that we chopping. Very militant. I'm digging it. So with this strong opening, it was also a segue into those basses keeping that melody. And you got the snares. You know, you, you can tell they have their own character. So this is not a battle, you know, so loosen up a little bit. Keep your identity, but also don't forget you can be comedic. You can make that eye contact with the crowd. You can look at each other and, you know, let's do it. But, you know, maybe it, 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 maybe it may heighten into something else. But so far, I'm digging it. It's, it's a nice exchange and a nice solid form that the snares have that you are not really used to seeing in the HBCU community. Now, this is a smaller band and, and drum line per se, so it's really not out there in the limelight such as your other D1 schools, but we have heard of them before. So let's check out the rest, man. So far, I'm feeling this. What's up?
right, nice. So, looking back at this video here, um, I think it's a few things that will help. First of all, I think um, that, you know, even when I've seen them in the last few years, they've definitely improved. So, I know a lot of times, basically, you're doing this corporate movement. I think we all need to uh, work on this a little better across the board, but make sure, man, if, you, if you're going to hit the moves exactly, you got to make sure you hit them exactly. Use a formula, and what I mean by formula, if you're doing a stick trick, a lot of people will say, you know, tap, make the letter T, make a lowercase T. Use things like that. If you're going to do a twirl and you're going to go up, imagine you doing like a Y. Use those formulas. Use those pinpoints because everyone's different heights. Everyone is different weights, you know, the drum made, you, you got to make that balance when it comes to levels, because I used to stand <laughs> next to a tall person. So imagine a tall person and a short person try to mimic the same level when it comes to the snare or any other instrument. So definitely make sure when you hit those moves, you got to be exact on those moves. So far, don't be afraid to to push that tempo up. I think what's happening here is we're starting to lose the climax when we think we're about to get to something and then that's when it becomes oh they didn't do nothing. Started off really strong, but you got to make sure you finish strong, okay? And so when you're doing the crowd engagement, it's a lot of looking down. We all know that's a no-no. You got to be confident because it's really not the difficulty of the material that you're playing. It's the confidence in how you come across because you can play all the hybrids you want, but if you got somebody just playing some regular out the 40 or out the 26 American, they can play those a little more solid because they're very confident. So that's the key thing. So I think if you get that crowd engagement and everything, I think it's going to work. So we got a really quick close in here. We're going to see how they close and go. Let's check it out. All right, so Elizabeth City, man, uh, the one thing that you cannot do is not have a solid closing. I was waiting for something to happen. I was waiting for some type of wow factor. Guy right there in front of the camera is looking down the whole time. And I'm just like, man, you got to be confident in what you're doing. Find that kid in the crowd and keep your eye on him. Maybe even wave to him real quick. Do something, but we got to make sure that we finish. Four factors in this as we close and before we move on to Benedict College. Number one, you're a small group, so you got to be way more creative than that. You all have the potential to do really whatever you want that a lot of big drum lines may not be able to do. And I'm talking about thinking outside of the box. Whatever that may be like, get more creative. Because the potential is there. The look is there. The sound is good. Y'all was actually clean. I'm not going to lie. Like, y'all was actually clean and getting it happen. Um, keep that clean look, which is my second point. Keep that clean look. Everyone had on the same thing. I love the, the snares. Y'all uh, adjustments was nice. Bass drums. Y'all get kudos for me. Cause I mean, the whole time y'all was running. Number three, stop looking down and around. Y'all killing me, man. That is a universal drumline rule. Even if you go to Oregon University, Ohio State, Nebraska, Pine Bluff, that, hey, you got to stop looking around. What you looking down for? That is your confidence level, and that may change just uh, the fact of whatever you're doing in this drumline world. Lastly, I need a climax towards the end. You cannot watch a good movie and see the plot at the beginning. You get about 20 minutes into it, you're like, okay, I think I know what's going on. 45 minutes, oh my gosh, this is a good movie. Why did it end like that? What the heck? Man, you got to find a way to get a climax. Overall, great job. Again, we're not talking about it. We chopping about it. With further ado, Benedict College up next.
flag on the play. This man didn't drop the stick in the opening. You basically just went all the way down the field in football and got on the two-yard line and fumbled. And now the other team got the ball. All right, so uh, so far, this is looking pretty nice. Um, you don't see a lot of death marches a lot, so it's really refreshing to see a nice, stiff, you know, death march when you're coming in. Uh, so everybody's looking together. I do appreciate these videos that I've been seeing. Everybody really takes pride into actually looking the same, from the attire to the look, from the straps, the stick tape. That is a lot. This was a very energetic opener got my attention minus the drop stick when you get someone's attention you keep it you're adding your chance in um I'll, it's high flashes that really get your attention it lets people know that that's like, still a little bit of the old school a lot of people was like to get away from the old school i don't get away from it too much it's always a foundation there because don't forget that's probably what you you know brought your attention to drumline i know it's what brought my attention to it, to see people swinging the stairs, uh, X's with the sticks and sending ripples down the line. That's beautiful. Corporate movement already out the back. I see it. Nice energy with disease. So one thing a lot of people forget to do is incorporate other subsections. So it's always good to see other subsections that's doing good other than the actual snares and disease. Good so far. Let's finish it up. Right, nice full sound all across so far they've kept their energy level up from the death march in to the first cadence they've kept the crowd's attention again you know home court advantage so of course of course you're going to hear a little more oohs and ahs coming from that school but so far i'm liking it multi-tenders 
you got to clean that up. You got to stay off them rims. I always tell folks, if it ain't clean, if it ain't ready, it's going to be premature. It ain't going to come out right. Go back and fix it. Especially on those sweeps. It was a nice solo. The intent was there. You got to stay off those daggone rims. Don't be afraid to add some formations. You all have that size where you can utilize that. That's another wow factor that's going to come in. You know, and um, I'm getting a lot of action from the Z's over there. I'm, I'm, I'm really feeling that. A nice sound. I like the way that you all have the tenors, um, you know, tuned. That, that's very nice. So let's see how they finish it out. Let's see how their ending is. What's up? Nice. Very nice ending. Very high energy. Keep it simple. Put some moves into it. You may even be able to gauge a child or two in the audience or someone who's not even in the band. Very great way and high energy. That's how you finish a cadence. Very good in the whole showcase. So in closing, as far as my remarks with Benedict, uh, I mean, of course, the whole, you know, I dropped the stick at the beginning and at the beginning too, man. Good grief. But you move on. You learn from it. I would say work on your flashes and your twirling, the way that you approach it. Um, it seems like some of you may be a twer approaching the twirl flat-handed versus around. And I know as percussionists, we can, you know, kind of make sense. The, the very small things, just solidify that. Pay attention to that. Now, the actual flashes and twirling that you had throughout the showcase made it more better. That's great. But, you know, us as percussionists, we're always learning how to perfect things. What can we do? What do we not do? What do we do great? And you all, you know, did that very, very good. Secondly, I would say don't get stuck too much on repeat cadences or cadences that you're just kind of there. Just you can cut that like cut those last four measures out. Don't even repeat that again. Sometimes it's OK, too. But some of those spots is just kind of like feeling dead air. Find a better way to feel dead air. Give, you know, give a certain subsection a solo and everybody hype them up. Do like some sort of formation. If you're going to repeat, perfect time to do a formation. Perfect time to do a stunt. Perfect time to a chant, crowd interaction. Make sure you add that in there. And lastly, yo, Z's, y'all really, really working. You look good. I've seen a lot of bronze and, you know, up in the air. I love it. Work on those moves, though. You want to solidify everything down to the T. I really enjoyed this video. And if I had to give a W to somebody, I would say Benedict. They kept the crowd's attention. They showed you that they can chop, but they also showed you that they can have a good time. Kudos to both schools. I appreciate y'all watching, man. Hey, man, look out for more material, man. Just, just don't drop the stick. God, why you drop the stick, man? Thank you so much for watching, and do not forget to subscribe. Shout out to all the historical black colleges and universities.